Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Oxen Free, continuing from where we left off. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about first of all. Um, after having a little break from recording this game, I thought of a few things. So basically, uh, analysing what the voices were saying, does that mean that they have completely taken over Ren's body now? Because they said something along the lines of, um, you know, we know you're running out of time because we've been able to take control of Ren for this long and there's silence and vacancy in his mind basically something along those lines anyway i'm paraphrasing here i'm not directly quoting what they said so that makes me concerned because they mentioned that they have completely taken over clarissa and now it seems like um either they've completely taken over ren or they're very close to doing that also i'm wondering if we aren't only speaking to the dead spirits from the sinking of the Kanaloa um, because if you remember a few times there's been a voice saying if Jonas uh, well saying that when the time comes let Jonas speak to his mother so I'm wondering if opening up this rift we're also having the possibility to speak with um, Jonas's dead mother and obviously we had that flashback with Michael as well. I'm not sure if that was Michael trying to communicate with us or if that was just a trick from the other dead spirits though. I can't quite work that out right now. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things floating around. But anyway, let's try and break this loop. So apparently we've tried to uh, reverse the rift in the cave a few times according to the voices. So I don't know if this is going to work. When we actually get to uh, the station's the up cave. at the top of the. Ugh. God, that was. My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make like a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course. It's ridiculous, you know. I don't know. I, I just thought you should know. Clarissa God, that, may be acting like a bitch right now, but it doesn't mean they she deserves any, like, to be possessed the for the rest of the day. They wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, are they? Oh, they're. Ren's uh, okay. They're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody? Who's alive? Jonas. That's all I care about. Jonas, punch yeah, out if you no, can hear that's this. No, that's a bonus too. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. <laughs> We're all set here for the, uh, the thing. Punch someone uh, in the throat. Machinery, speak and hug, or whatever we're doing. Can't you kill someone yeah, if you punch them really hard in the throat? Time's a wasted. It's dangerous. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was Vin. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like... It was high, believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No. It, uh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Okay, just... I just wanted to ready. see, uh... Sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit all the, the conversation. Receiver receiver thing and we can do this stuff. Stuff. Exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have the last word? Over is good enough. Over now. Open! Hello! 
We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line, and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but uh, I don't know. It's I true, though. They wouldn't want to make a deal know. unless they're worried. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. All right, Sorry about to, that. <laughs> um, put in the call to Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Right. Close the time hole and save the day. Let's hope this works, eh? If it doesn't work, the whole island will have to be like a no-go zone for every single person because these spirits just want to take over bodies. You know what? I've really liked this game. It's been a totally different ghost story to what I'm used to. You know, I've never heard of a ghost story where you've like opened a rift to the other plane or other side before. So uh, it's been pretty unique and interesting. I think this would make a great movie, you know. I would totally go watch it. Climb down, Alex! Thank you. <laughs> Haven't found another uh, letter yet. I have an idea, Whoa. Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas. Don't turn freaky now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think... Um, I think it's like reset. What is it... Like, what does it feel like when that happens? Is you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk, and... But you, like, see stuff, right? Like, when I saw Michael on the beach... Yeah, I, I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... Okay, just... I have a time limit for rambling nonsense, so let's pick it up a bit. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool, us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. <laughs> so, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... you don't have to put it like it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> Alright. Well, that whole conversation is basically him saying that he feels like he's losing control of his body and he's losing his, uh... Well, essentially losing his himself, really. Um, so he wanted to make sure he said that before it gets worse and the spirits completely take over. Uh, hang on a second, what's that station? Um, 14.0... 140.0 even. Oh. Whitley Woods west of his barracks and sketched the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974... Romeo, Echo, Echo, now called something else. A fallen tango, Romeo, Echo, Echo, now called something else. Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah, 
to the right again. Ooh, shiny. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. After the fort closed, I used the considerable resources from my father's endowment to buy up most of the land or influence government officials to declare that which I could not buy protected. I have not been entirely successful and have watched in horror as a small tourist industry has precariously sprung up upon this cursed island. Even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, set up a restaurant to cater to inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this, though. The museum will never happen, and the beach and caves will be boarded up. Right, so how many of these uh, letters have we got so far, then? Right, so we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we're getting really close to the end of the game though, so I doubt I will collect them all on this playthrough. I'm sure there's videos up already of all the letters anyway on YouTube, so I don't really uh, see the need to upload that unless I really feel like doing it. <laughs> we shall see. Come on, Jonas. Put your back into it. I don't even know what accent I was trying to do there. It was awful. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But, you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ashley? Oh! Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But time you with knew Michael you didn't again. have permission to go to that show. Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something, but you, you know what I mean. Commit? What the hell does that mean? You're in high school. <laughs> I know, I know. I sound like I'm 40, but I'm just, I don't know. It's going to be, it's not going to be casual anymore. It's going to be a thing, a real thing. That's An official all. So couple. Just get used to her. That's all I'm saying. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I got to get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just got to write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Really? Why leave? I mean, yeah, it can suck sometimes, but it's pretty much like everywhere else. This is going to sound weird, but... Everybody knows me here. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. 
Oh, shut up. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Oh, I can't quite work it out. Is it actually Michael communicating with us there, or all those spirits just trying to mess with our mind? Alex? Stop it. Just stop. Ugh. You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Oh, it's so intense because we know Michael's dead and... Like I said, I can't work out if it is actually Michael trying to communicate or if it's the spirits just playing tricks and trying to mess with Alex's mind. And maybe that's their way of trying to break Alex so they can take over Alex. Um, these flashbacks of Michael. Because Alex, out of all of the group, has shown most resilience to um, possession. Because, think about it, everyone else seems to have been easily possessed. And um, it's only just now, or recently in the past few episodes, where Alex has started to get possessed with these flashbacks of Michael. And it's a touchy subject, so thinking about it, that would probably be the best way to break Alex's mind so that they can take over. That's my theory anyway. So I'm more leaning to that it isn't actually Michael trying to communicate. I think it's just a way for the spirits to break Alex so that they can try and take over her body. Did we tune into this one or not? This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies both foreign and domestic. This is the... No, I don't remember listening to that before. Wow. Nice view. Have they already gone inside? No, I just always do the poster. I mean, you get the option, right? The... There's an option to make a poster? You oh. guys, uh, doing okay? Yeah, it's... we're fine. But Rin, wait, seriously. In AP English, all you had to do was make a fake book cover poster at the end of the semester? Yeah, but the trick is you have to claim you're a kinesthetic learner. I have to make something with my hands, teacher. Or... Yeah, I think you can worry about that after we're off the island, Ren. No, I need to worry about it now. Why? Because I left my book Distraction, maybe? <laughs> I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghost or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I just, I don't know. Ren, are you, this is what you want to tell me before we go in there? I know, I'm sorry. It's, it's, just been, it's just been a crappy night. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is stupid, but can we like take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and somebody finds it or something. Yeah, let's do I it. think it's a good idea. A beach, kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting... <sighs> All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. Oh my god, so, really? Make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. We'll be back. Oh, I know. 
Aww. This, this really feels like the end of the game now, guys. Uh, when we go in there. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, Alright. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just in case anything crazy happens, okay? I feel like out of everybody, we've spent the least amount of time with Nona and uh, Clarissa. Um, obviously, we had the option to have Nona come with us. That probably would have been a good time to uh, get to know Nona a bit, but uh, we've pretty much stuck with Jonas throughout this Let's Play. A little bit of Ren at the beginning, and then the rest of it was Jonas all the way through. So I guess this is the point of no return. So if I wanted to, I could look around the island and try and find the rest of these letters. But usually on my Let's Play walkthroughs, I just like to go through it blind and find what I find as I go along. Um, and then afterwards, I normally go around collecting anything I've missed. But since this game's been out a long time, I know there's a lot of videos up on YouTube already um, showing off all of these letters. So I suppose you guys can go and watch them if you really want to know what the other letters say. So I'm pretty sure on the next episode, I'm just going to go ahead and go in and uh, finish the game and see what awaits us and see if we can actually close the rift. So yeah, um, let's have a look at photos. Oh, so there's one more photo left. So I assume that's going to be a photo of either things all going wrong or everyone surviving, but we shall see. So that's the one we just took. Everyone looks so miserable on that picture. Like if we look, that's a nice picture. Um, well, Jonas is slightly smiling, I guess, <laughs> but Ren looks really happy and Alex looks happy. Clarissa looks annoyed, I guess. Yeah. I guess we're all worried because we don't know what's going to happen when we go inside, do we? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys.